PC Budget Race asks, Hello, I built a budget computer over two years ago and have slowly been upgrading it. I now want to upgrade the motherboard to a B450, but I have no idea where to start. Do you have to delete everything and reinstall Windows or is this just drivers or is there anything I have to worry about? When I try to look it up online, there are so many different things it doesn't make sense. If you could help, that would be appreciated. Absolutely not. Windows 10 is amazing for this. 99% of the time, if you plug you know all your components back into a new motherboard, uh, it's, it's great because back in the Windows 7 days, it so, certainly wasn't like this. Yeah, you can just plug everything in and Windows at the start goes, oh, things have changed. And it does the things it needs to do to reinstall it. And if you are connected to the internet, 99% of the times it picks up your ethernet adapter and it goes on the internet and it downloads the drivers it needs and it's all good. So do not be afraid to switch motherboards. In fact, I bet your A320 will share a lot of the same, you know, chipset and stuff like that. Like the, the, the co core components, not a lot will change and it'll probably pop up just like that if you're going from an intel you know older motherboard to a new ryzen one it you know the process will take a little bit longer but don't be afraid to upgrade and uh, if you want to go b450 there's tons of great deals at like a hundred and a hundred and you know ten uh dollars don't go super cheap like you did with the uh, a320 try and find a deal on a b450 and look for a lot of mosfets and uh chokes around uh you know in heat sinks around the chipset uh as long as you you know find a, a decent enough little vrm uh you know some of the uh you know msi ones are kind of bad for not being very strong uh some of the gigabyte ones are really bad but then some of the gigabyte ones are really good uh asrock does a cheap b450 motherboard really really well as long as you're spending a little bit of money and you do your research just google it first you know uh see what people say about the motherboard you should be fine to switch you know windows over do not be afraid to go ahead and do that it should be fairly straightforward Jacob Billings asks over in the email, uh, have you ever thought about moving stateside? Hard to leave Canada and all those cold overclocking opportunities, but it, would you want to move to more to key vendors? And no, never. Um, I love Canada and living here. And um, I know that it's going to hurt a lot of you Americans to hear this, but it's absolutely amazing here. There's no way I would ever leave. And I love it here. It's so much better. And I think a lot of it has to do with we are not the best country in the or whatever, the free world. We are the free world's little brother. So we get left alone. You guys have the orange haired guy to deal with. Uh, I'll take I'll take what we got any day of the week. It's wonderful here. Uh, I break my arm. I go to the hospital they fix it i leave without a bill there's programs and stuff like that a lot of stuff man it's it's interesting so no i would never leave canada it's it's amazing here and if you ever have the chance come hang out for a bit and you'll see why honestly andrew ramsey asks love your content and hard work sir what type of programs do you include before you sell the used pc to sweeten the deal also office alternatives are free antivirus thank you for your time ace I don't really advertise it, but I set up Windows properly. There's a way when you install Windows to get everything working properly. get rid of Cortana, all the bullshit that, you know, one drive that pops up, you set the f uh, file, you know, manager type so that when you click on the little folder icon, it brings you to my computer rather than bringing you to a place you never use, which is that like recently, you know, whatever, my favorite documents thing. I hate that. So I set that up and uh, I typically install 
MSI Afterburner. I install um, a hardware monitor because it's this quick, simple program, and it usually works enough, you know, to, sh to show some temperatures and stuff like that. I install the drivers, and uh, I may or may not activate Windows with an eBay key, depending on, like, it's like 10 bucks, but, you know, if, uh, sometimes it's just not worth the trouble. I usually tell them, hey, this doesn't have an activated copy of Windows on it, but if you really wanted one, I could get you one. Most people don't care once you explain that it's there's no problem putting an unactivated copy of Windows on a used PC. And, uh, you know, most people are happy to take it that way. And then if I get an email or a call uh, six months down the line, they're saying the computer's acting funny. Uh, I have some stuff on the, I know that's on the computer unless they've removed it or if they've, you know, formatted it or something. I can say, open up hardware monitor. What's uh, the deal with the temperatures? Oh, it's overheating. Well, you know, it gives me some options to, you know, sometimes it's just as silly as, uh, you know, uh, something silly that I can tell with uh, diagnosing it over the phone and having those programs on there can help, you know. But as far as Office or alternatives or antivirus, I'm, when Windows Defender is pretty good. Keep your PC up to date and don't go to weird porn sites and usually you're fine. Uh, I find anyways. So, and I always keep that like thing that pops up when, uh, you know, you're installing a program that says, are you sure you really want to do that? Because that's going to help people too. You know, I turn that off immediately, but most people want that act of protection on mod dim Atreides. Oh my God. I murdered that says, hi TJ. It goes like this. My 780 will not wake up after a long screen off situation. So like going to sleep. Well, after a short time, like 10 or 30 minutes, it will wake up just fine. Thanks in advance. Um, he, I, I, that could not even have to do with the, the video card. It's the, if it's going, if the screen's turning off, more than likely your computer is going into a deep sleep, like it's actually going to sleep. And when, you know, the actual screen's just turning off for that first 10 or 30 minutes. Um, I have, I've seen that in the past where, computers just stop waking up from sleep and it could be a, a BIOS setting. It could be that your, you know, Windows settings are wrong or a Windows update went bad. More than likely though, it's probably a hardware problem. It's probably uh, when Windows not working well with your motherboard anymore and something's not waking up. Sometimes, uh, it, you know, actual mouse input or keyboard input won't wake it up, but pressing the button will. Other times I've seen where I've actually seen this where you uh, can't even turn it back on at all with the button anymore and you have to unplug the power and plug it back in. So my advice would be turn sleep off and, you know, just be wary that your computer's on and turn it off after you're finished, you know, using it or at the end of the night and see if that helps out. Sorry, without knowing more about it, it's a little hard to give a more specific answer, but I doubt it's to do with your video card. Thanks very much for watching. I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. Ask me those questions. Ask Timmy Joe at gmail.com. I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you very much. And the whole point of this video series is you know, to ask you, you know, to help you guys out. And if I don't know the answers, you know, we can crowdsource in the uh, doobly do in the comments section. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, don't forget, ask your questions. Ask Timmy Joe at gmail.com.